everyone. Good morning. I lost my clear sunglasses, plastic sunglasses. I'm not sure where they are. They might show up or something. I'm not sure where they are. Um, I'm going to talk about this carefully. So my thing with New Hampshire so far is none of the Walmarts and there's so many places that you can't overnight park and their streets don't have side street parking, just a little shoulder. So um, honestly, that can be a little stressful for someone like me. I wasn't expecting to uh, have this issue in New Hampshire. But the reason why I want to say it sensitively, it's because, I mean, I, I understand the concept. You know, um, most people in an RV who are traveling are going to go to an RV park and spend somewhere between $1,200 and $1,800 a month to pay these fees for a piece of concrete and to plug into power and have all this stuff. So when you're self-sufficient and you don't need that, well, I need it once a week to get water and dump my tanks and stuff. But um, I, I kind of understand. I mean, it's probably got a lot to do with the fact that the cities and areas, you know, they want to make as much money at the private RV parks and campgrounds and stuff. So um, I'm not going to go into it. I'm just not going to talk about it anymore. I'm just uh, kind of done with New Hampshire, but... I wanted to see some more stuff, so now I have to pay $42 and go to an RV park campground just so that I have a legal spot to park my RV and go explore a place. So that's what we're doing today. No biggie. I do need water, though. I'm almost completely out of water. Hey, Jax. Looks like you're about ready to go there. My little Tom Tom navigator. You ready? Okay. escorted to my campsite. Right. Not too bad at all. This is nice. I think if you have to go to an RV park or a campground, this is a nice one. This is uh, Shell Owl Campground in Northampton, New Hampshire. Uh, you can see there's not a whole... I'm going to have neighbors on this side of me. It's pretty quiet. The, let me see, these are all tent camp spots along, and they're all completely empty all the way down. Then again, it's fall, so um, what I tend to, what tends to happen as I get on the road and do my traveling south in the winter is a lot of these campgrounds, well, a lot of them turn off water so you can't even access the water at the site, and secondly, they just kind of shut down. So I don't know if this one's open year-round. Then again, we're almost in Maine, so I would imagine it probably gets pretty cold here too. They might not be open year-round, but it's nice. It's a nice break. Um, I did not hook up the sewer line. You can see you do have full hookups here for $42 a night. But for me, it's just uh, it's just not convenient for one night to hook it up for the convenience of keeping the gray water open for the shower. Um, before I leave tomorrow morning, I will hook up the sewer line, dump my waste. Um, what I have done is hooked up the water. So I have got my T here to protect this. Got my regulator. Uh, I've got my Camco filter. And I've got the water on so that I am now bypassing my onboard uh, water tank and my water pump. And I do like to do that at least every once a month just to get the water circulating inside this piece of the pipe because it's different until it gets to the T where the water pump's at. So you can get some stagnant water stuck in there. It's probably good for someone like me who doesn't need to do this. I mean, clearly I could just use my own water tank on board. Um, so yeah, when I leave tomorrow, I will also top off fresh water tank as well. No biggie. Yeah. What? Firewood and no burn band? Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Sorry for all the bad stuff I said about you in New Hampshire. You're all right.
leaving the campground in search of the Atlantic Ocean on the East Coast. Here we go. And there it is, the Atlantic Ocean. Oh my gosh. Awesome, I made it. Jax, we made it. Oh man. Um, as you can see here, no shoulder to park. They've got grass on that side. Stick into the old New Hampshire theme here for me. Oh, here we go. No parking. Okay. No parking, no parking, no parking. But I want to park. Restricted area parallel parking by permit only? How do I get a permit? Okay, well, Sawyer's Beach is not available to the public, apparently. So I did find a spot to park my RV here along A1. So I'll give you the coordinates of my parking spot right here in case another RV here wants to use this resource. I'm within the back line and not parked where you can't park, so this should work should work and I am going to overnight park here as well so let's go check out the water so I've came up here to the Rye General Store and E Street about maybe like a quarter mile walk from where I parked I'm gonna follow this lady with the lawn chair because I think she knows where the public beach is <laughs> Hey guys, this is Jax, my kitty cat. I'm his servant, Eric. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel here on RVing. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up below. Make sure you subscribe, check out all our other videos, and keep following us on the road. Thanks guys.